For years, Jammu and Kashmir has striven to create an environment of harmony, unity and progress. However, Pakistan in its bid to assert control and stoke unrest has embarked on a destructive path of violence and chaos. The use of terrorism as a tool to achieve political objectives has been a recurring theme in Pakistan's approach, particularly concerning the Kashmir issue. A glaring example of Pakistan's intent to disrupt peace emerged on a fateful day, December 22nd, when a major terrorist attack resulted in the tragic loss of four Indian Army soldiers in the Poonch district of South Kashmir. Let's delve into the details in our report. Rattled by a peaceful and progressive environment in Jammu and Kashmir, Pakistan is trying every trick in the book to unleash violence and chaos in the region. On December 22nd, a group of heavily armed terrorists ambushed Indian Army vehicles in Jammu and Kashmir's Poonch district. The ambush was not a routine hit-and-run terrorist attack, but it appears to have been meticulously planned and executed. The terrorists chose a sharp bend on the road where vehicles slowed down once the two vehicles were in their range, the terrorists fired indiscriminately from dense forests, following which four soldiers identified as Birendra Singh, Karan Kumar, Chandan Kumar and Gautam Kumar were reportedly killed. The People Anti-Fascist Front, an offshoot of Pakistan-based Jaisi Mohammed Terra outfit, took responsibility for the attack on social websites. थाना मंडी नाम का एक गांव है और रजौरी सेक्टर में और वहां पर एक धतियार मोड़ है डेरा की गली के पास तो वहां पर उस मोड़ पर बहुत पथीला रास्ता है तो नेचुरली गाड़ियां जब गुजरती है वहां से तो उनकी स्पीड कम हो जाती है स्पीड जब कम होती है तो वो एकदम सही मौका होता है किसी भी सेना को या किसी भी आतंकवादी को हमला करने का जब गाड़ियों की स्पीड कम होती है और नेचुरली पथरीला रास्ता होने के कारण हमारी जो फौजी गाड़ियां जा रही थी उनकी स्पीड कम हो गई ऐसे हो सकता है कि आतंकवादी ने पहले ही उस इलाके का रेकी की होगी और फिर उन्होंने ये जो दतियार मोड़ है ये उन्होंने मोड़ चुना होगा क्योंकि वहां पर आम तौर पर एक पहाड़ी है जिस पहाड़ी के चोटी के ऊपर आतंकवादी छुपे थे और पथरीला रास्ता होने के कारण स्पीड कम होने के कारण तुरंत वहां पर एक्शन करना यह बहुत आसान हो जाता है तो वहां पर हमारी सेना की गाड़ियों के ऊपर एम्बुश हुआ है हमला हुआ है और उसके जवाबी कार्रवाई में हमारे चार जवान इन्हें वीरगति प्राप्त हुई है लेकिन इसके लिए तुरंत उस एरिया को कॉर्डन ऑफ किया गया है और आतंकवादियों को अभी जो कार्रवाई शुरू है वो कार्रवाई अभी जारी रहेगी जब तक आतंकवादी मिल नहीं जाते Jammu and Kashmir police suspect that Rajouri and Poonch districts are primary targets for Pakistan and its affiliated terror groups aligning with Islamabad's agenda to reignite terrorism in the region. Rajouri and Poonch districts spread over 4304 square kilometers and are located south of Pir Panjal mountain range in Jammu and Kashmir. The region is dotted with dense forests, snow-capped mountains and countless caves. On one side to Rajouri and Poonch is the line of control that divides Jammu and Kashmir and Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. On the other side lies the erstwhile terrorists' hotbed of South Kashmir. The geography and the topography of the region have helped terrorists to carry out some of the deadliest attacks in recent history. in Jammu and Kashmir The recent attack was the seventh strike on the army since October 2021 in Rajouri and Poonch A total of 34 army personnel have lost their lives seven Hindu civilians were also killed in January 2023 It is evident that Pakistan has shifted its tactics dispatching highly trained and well equipped terrorists to execute guerrilla style attacks on security convoys camps and patrols rather than deploying them in the kashmir valley to target civilians and minorities
Pakistan is hell bent upon sending terrorists over here in the state of Jammu and Kashmir, and this has been verified by our intelligence sources also that there are nearly around 300 uh, terrorists in the launch pads around the international border and the Pakistan occupied uh, uh, line of control. Pakistan has time and again been told and cautioned not to do this, but it is bent upon doing this, and it is not going to stop because it has to divert the attention of its own people from the internal problems that they are having, where they are having no food. They are having no water. They they are having no petroleum products. They have their economy is totally in doldrums. And to divert that attention, it will keep doing this. India has to take strict actions against this. Pakistan's actions expose it as a state that supports terrorism and aims to instill fear among the people of Kashmir. Nevertheless, these heinous acts will not derail Jammu and Kashmir's path towards development. as in insecurity forces remain resolute in countering the sinister plots the people of the region stand united against these forces of darkness with an unwavering determination to overcome the challenges that threaten the peace and prosperity of our beloved land